Hi, welcome to your option of geography. So my name is Miss West and I am Head of Geography and today I'm just going to take you through uh, what geography includes at GCSE and just give you a bit of inspiration to maybe think about choosing it for your option. So geography is split into two main papers. You've got your physical geography and you've also got your human geography. Now, you know from all of your lessons of geography that physical geography looks at the natural world. Um, so it's a written exam. It's one hour and 30 minutes. Um, and this is what it includes. So you've got your natural hazards volcanoes, earthquakes. And then we go a little bit further from what we've done at Key Stage 3. We think also about hurricanes, we think about extreme weather, and then we also think about climate change, something that is in the news all the time and affecting every single person. So just some images there um, for you to think about what those hazards might be and what it might look like. So our next thing that we would do is we'd look at natural landscape and we'd look at natural landscape in the UK. So we'd look at rivers um, and how rivers shape our landscape and how they can sometimes be a really positive thing for people, but sometimes they can be a very negative thing for people as well, especially when they flood. Then we'd also look at coasts. Now we do, we are quite a landlocked area in Oxford, but we would then look a little bit further afield and think about coasts and how the waves interact with the land um, to make very unique landforms. Then we'd move on to the living world, and this is where we'd go a little bit further afield. So we'd look at ecosystems. Now you've done that in year seven, um, and we'd go into quite a lot of detail about tropical rainforest. We'd think about what animals live there, how they've adapted. We'd also think about deforestation. Why is it happening? What are the impacts of this? Then we'd go on to cold environments. And cold environments, we'd, we'd look at the Arctic. We'd look at what opportunities are within a cold environment, maybe for making money, also opportunities to improve the wildlife system there. And then we'd look at the negatives, the threats to our cold environments as well. Just got some images there. Um, we look at a lot of different animals. Um, we also look at a lot of different environments. So that was paper one. Then when we go into year 11, we start to look at human geography. Now, you will probably find one that you prefer a little bit more, or you might just be a wonderful geographer um, and enjoy both exactly the same. But this is what human geography is all about. So within human geography, we look at the urban issues and challenges. We look at urbanization. By 2050, 70% of our world's population is going to live in an urban area, which is going to be a city. So it's really important as future geographers that we understand what these issues are going to be and how we can try and make it more sustainable. We then move on to the changing economic world. Now you've learned a little bit in Key Stage 3 about the development gap how some countries are very developed, how other countries are not so developed. And we look at how money changes and how trade impacts these by looking at two major case studies. We then move on and we look at issues and we think about how geography is changing in the future. So we look at food issues and we think about how much food is needed um, to keep the world's population fed um, and how this might change in the future. We also think about water issues as well, because as we know, with global warming, this might be a problem as we move forward. So those were the two main ones. And then we have a third exam. And that third exam is very much looking at fieldwork. So we have to go on two days fieldwork and we do a human days fieldwork and we do a physical days fieldwork. Now, what we would be hoping to do is go to a river for one of the days for our physical fieldwork. And then we would go to probably Oxford um, and we'd look at our human fieldwork there. We also are given a geographical issues paper where we would work through it with you, where we look at a specific issue um, and then that paper is then taken into the exam. So that's a really nice one for us to put all our knowledge of geography together looking at a specific issue. So although geography seems like there's three big papers, actually it's very accessible. 
Um, the, the questions within the geography paper are much shorter. Um, and it's building up our knowledge as we go through. So we would practice this all the time, making sure that we were really confident with how to write exam technique with all the knowledge that we go through. So geography is really good because universities love it. Universities also see geography as one of their sciences now. We can say to universities that because you've done geography, you can show teamwork, you can show leadership skills, and you can also show them that you have a global awareness, which is getting more and more important as we move through our lives and think about how our environment is being impacted. So do think about geography as your option. It's a really good one to take. Um, the teachers are me and they are Mr. Edmed, um, and we will be there to guide you through geography as best we can, enjoying it as much as possible. So I just want to show you these, these um, newspaper articles. All of this, if you open a newspaper and you look at how much is geography related, um, it's quite shocking. So there's lots of different ways that geography comes into the news. And as you'll be learning it, you'll be thinking about that. You'll be putting your knowledge into real world situations. And the last thing that I just want to say is, is what jobs, because careers are very important. How does geography link into those careers? So obviously you could be a geography teacher, a lovely career option to have. You might choose to be an ecologist, um, so to look at animals you might, or plants, you might want to be a climatologist, or you might want to look at volcanoes, a volcanologist, you might want to become a town planner, you might want to think about data analysis. So the, the options that you have for geography are huge. Um, so it's a really good choice if any of those spark your imagination and that is what you would like to do. If you have any questions at all, then please do not hesitate to contact either me or Mr Edmed and we will be able to help you with your questions. So do think about geography and we look forward to hopefully seeing you next year.